The quartz quarry is located on this piece of property next to this house. On the side of this gentle hill are several large boulders of quartz. And as I walk to the site, I can clearly see broken quartz fragments exposed all over the area, which covered several acres. It's a really interesting area. I found a lot of quartz arrowheads and projectile points over the years, but I've never actually seen a quartz quarry where the quartz was harvested for making the points. Luckily, this is an area that hasn't been developed. It's actually on the edge of a, of a house up here in a neighborhood near where my mom lives. And a lot of areas like this are unfortunately bulldozed under and destroyed during development, but this one thankfully has been preserved. I've known about this area for several years, but haven't gotten a chance to come down here and film it until now. This was probably used over thousands of years, and I'm sure the local Indians who lived here knew of this area and capitalized on it and probably made regular forays here to collect quartz for their knives and stone tools. Any exposed soil is covered with white quartz flakes and fragments. These waste flakes are what's left after thousands of years of prehistoric quarrying. The Indians smashed large hammer stones against the large quartz boulders, breaking pieces free that they would then collect and chip into spear and knife points. Notice the rough broken surface of this large quartz boulder. This is the result of prehistoric quarrying by people wielding large hammer stones that they'd smash into this boulder until large flakes and fragments broke off. I picked up a few choice pieces for myself as I like making quartz arrowheads just like the old guys did. This quartz is fairly good quality. It has good flaking characteristics, is fairly pure, and has minimal cracks. Behind me here, the whole hill is just littered with broken quartz. I can see it all back there. And that wasn't done by Mother Nature, that was done by humans hundreds, probably thousands of years ago.